pull the string. Pull the string! Scurry, wow, wow, wow. Hi, this is David Johnstone. I'm talking to you from the arena in San Jose where we're just about to play a show. I was, I'd already moved to London from, from Scotland. I was born in Edinburgh, so I lived most of my young life in, in Scotland. And then I moved down to London when I was 17. And I was playing folk music, uh, playing acoustic guitar and tenor banjo and mandolin, stuff like that. I got asked to play a session for this guy called Elton John. And uh, the album was Madman Across the Water. And I was booked to play mandolin, banjo, and sitar. I also played sitar. I was a real hippie and uh, so nothing's really changed. And um, I did a session for Elton, played on a song called Mad Man Across the Water from the album, and a song called Holiday Inn. And I got a call the next day saying, would I like to join his band? And I said, sure, what's the money? And uh, I was in, like that. Five or six years with, with Elton, uh, we had a wonderful run many successful albums and, and uh, just huge stuff. It was great. Um, I decided to retire for a couple of years and uh, a couple of other people uh, were going on tour like Alice Cooper and Alice asked me if I'd come and play with him for, for a year and I, I loved him as a person. He's a great guy, very funny and I loved his music. Great pop, great hardcore pop music and uh, probably the, the godfather of all that heavy metal stuff that they're calling that today you know I mean Alice was it he was the start of all that so I got to play all those songs like 18 and schools out it was great and um, from there I did a lot of studio work again um, for the Pointer Sisters and, and uh, Bob Seeger um, and I did some a lot of work with Stevie Nicks in the end of the 70s beginning of the 80s and, and on her Belladonna album that was a big record and actually, I just did another session with her about, about a month ago for some new stuff she's doing. So we used all the guys who were on that, that session, like uh, Wadi Wattel and, and, uh, and Ben Montanch and, and Bob Glob and just a great band, you know, Ross Conkle on drums. We had a great time. So uh, it's good to see those guys are still playing, you know. I have a few favorites. Usually they're the loud guitar ones that I played, uh, you know, when we recorded them, like the Bitches Back is fun. That's an open tuning, an open G chord, and, and that's kind of fun to play live because a lot of people, you can see guitar players in the audience, you can pick them out a mile away. They're the guys standing at the front <laughs> looking at your fingers, you know, like, and there's no chicks with them, you know, they know that's a guitar player. And, um, so that one is good for fun. Uh, Saturday night, of course, is a lot of fun. It's, again, it's loud guitars and uh, Funeral for a Friend and Love Lies Bleeding is a big guitar track. But, you know, I, I enjoy all the stuff we do because I was fortunate enough to play on those tracks, too. So I still, I'm not playing somebody else's guitar parts. I'm playing my own guitar parts, so that's kind of fun. Uh, if I'm going to fuck them up, I can do it myself, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of reassuring, you know. I'm not screwing with somebody else's parts. So that's, uh, oh, I said the F word, I'm sorry. Guitar lessons, I had a guitar lesson, that would be. I had one. Um, and the guitar teacher that I went to, um, he had the worst dandruff in the planet. I couldn't believe it. It was coming off him like a snowstorm. So I, I could only handle the one lesson. And then I was picking stuff out of my clothes and I was only 11 years old, it freaked me out. So I decided that rather than picking dandruff out of my, my clothes and hair, I should learn myself. So I bought a couple of records, uh, The Shadows, uh, a couple of Beatles records, Stones records. That, that was what was popular when I was like 10, 11 years old. And uh, I taught myself.
But yeah, it's, it's fun. I'm, I'm very blessed because I get to play stuff that I enjoy doing. And, uh, and me and Rick Salazar, my, my tech, we get to have a lot of fun every night. And, you know, and we, we can change things up a bit. It's not like I have to play exactly what's written every night or somebody's going to fire me. You know, it's, uh, hopefully Alton won't do that at this point. We've known each other a long time. I really can't, I, you know, I, I'm not allowed to tell those stories. You know, there's obviously ones that are a little bit more tame that I can, that I can tell you about. There was one that happened uh, during a show. We, play, we were in the middle of a show, and it was when Dee Murray, our bass player, was alive. God bless him. Um, and Dee and Nigel and I were, were, were the, main, the main band. And we had an extra keyboard player called Fred Mandel, a very funny guy. Um, but this one night we were playing... Uh, sad songs, sad songs say so much. And we got to the bridge, which is a very simple bridge in the song, and it only lasts about eight bars, right? Like most bridges. But um, we were all a little bit, shall we say, medicated this evening, and um, the bridge went round about 25 times. Now, Fred Mandel, when, it, when we, we got to maybe the 19th or 20th time of playing this bridge, he started freaking out and he turned to his tech and he said, you got to help me. I think I'm, somebody spiked my drink with acid or something. Uh, that, you know, I'm, this, this bridge has gone around 20 times. And his tech said, no, it's not you. It's all of these guys. So um, poor Fred, he was fine. It was all of us. We were medicated. Too many. Probably the best advice I can give somebody who's, who's playing and is thinking of music as a career or, or just for fun, whatever. Um, Practice. That's, that's the big deal. Get in your bedroom and practice, you know. Uh, give up a couple of hours of sleep for practice. And, and uh, you know, learn to read. That's another good bit of advice. I know it sounds like a, a very, you know, boring thing. But really, if you can read, then you can do a lot more session uh, studio dates than the guy who can't read. You know, um, I, I was fortunate because I, I was classically trained in violin. So I already had a bit of reading under my belt. Um, practice is the main thing though, I mean, and love what you do enough to, to, to get better and better at, at your playing, whatever it is, if it's guitar, bass, drums, whatever. Um, the better you are at what you do, um, the more respect you're showing for your art, you know, and that's what's going to get you hired more by people and hopefully will make you lots of money. So good luck and get out there, practice and make a ton of money. And then you can take the piss out of people, like I do. Bye. See you later. Rock on. Practice. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Yo, uh, uh, intruder, my name is...